in science is one that is vital to the achievement of development and as the number of women going into science continues to rise their contribution to COVID-19 research cannot be ignored as the world marks the International Day of Women in Science Helen Ora tells the story of Rosemary Njogo a trained nurse who has helped keep pregnant women alive through the COVID pandemic According to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, one in four researchers in Kenya is a woman, meaning about 25.7% of researchers are women. This is a slight increase from the 23% recorded in 2010. The numbers are even lower in medical sciences at just 20%. Closer home, women scientists have raised the bar by steering the country and the health system through the COVID-19 pandemic. The day I slept comfortable is the day you remember the PS was the mothers can get also the COVID vaccine. The pregnant mothers can get the COVID vaccine. These are a group of women who has been very close to my heart, considering they have the baby in them. And we can't underestimate the severe infections for these mothers when they are not vaccinated. Fighting pandemics require concerted efforts from multiple disciplines. Women in science, such as Rosemary Njogu, who is a registered nurse, as well as a public health specialist, have demonstrated resilience in the wake of what would go down as one for the books in history. So we had to take the role on trainings, on critical care. Those were the first, first training. You remember the training on health workers doning and doving and how the health workers can be protected from contracting the COVID virus. The journey has not been smooth because there are those challenges of health workers getting the virus and even mortalities we have seen for health workers. But the fact that you're seeing some people surviving and get, walking out of ICU gives you more energy to continue. She is now on the forefront of maternal immunization across the country, advocating for pregnant and lactating women to receive the key vaccines. Helen Aura, NTV.